Hello. It is 8.5 home link time. Yes. Now, this whole part where you did the camping trip, everybody's going to have different answers. So here's what I want you to do. Take a picture of your itemized stuff and your money and all that and how, you, how much money you spend. Take a picture and send it to me. I would like to see that. Now, let's go over the practice problems at the bottom. Because this is all different for everybody. Because some of you said, oh, we don't want to go kayaking, but um, we want to do mountain bikes or whatever. And somebody might want to do both. So you figure out yours. You just can't spend more than 500 bucks. All right, let's do the practice. Six and two thirds times four, seven eighths. I think we're going to have to do this the complicated way. Six times four, six times seven eighths, four times uh, two thirds, and the seven eighths times two thirds, and put them all together. This is not easy, guys. That's 42 eighths, which is five and Two eighths, which is five and a fourth. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's eight thirds, which is two and two thirds. And this one is 14 twenty fourths. Does it look fun yet? We're going to have to put together these things, and they all have different denominators. Train wreck. But what if I change them all into 20 fourths? Because this is the same. If I multiply times 8, I get a 24. So I could do 2 times 8 and get 16. And I could change this into 24 by multiplying the 4 times 6. So let's rewrite the 5. Changing it at 24. That's times 6. So 1 times 6 is 6. Now I can put everything together. So I've got, let's just do the fraction parts. 6 24 plus 16 of them, that's 22 24 22 plus 14 is 36 24ths, which equals 1 and 12 24ths. Yes, you're right. That's 1 and a half. Okay, 1 and a half. Now let's do the whole number parts. 24, 5, and 2. 24 plus 5 is 29 plus 2 more is 31. 31 plus one and a half is 32 and a half. Dude, that was a lot of work for that one. I'm not sure that doing the four problems was the way to go. The other way you can do it is you can make this improper and that improper. You just end up with big numbers to deal with. So either way, it's not so easy. Let's do this one. 10 and 5, 6 times 5 and 3 fourths. Since we did the other one, the more complicated four problem way, let's do this one with improper. Let's see what happens. We get 60, five, six. Uh-oh, teacher already feeling nervous. Those are big, big numbers. Four times five is 20 plus three, 23 fourths. I don't like this. I don't like it. This is gonna be huge. And then I'm going to have to divide it by 24. Let's not do that. Can we not do that? Let's go back to the everyday math way. Which is 10 times 5. 10 times 3 fourths. 5 times 5 sixths. And 3 fourths times 5 sixths. 50. That's the easy one. I like that one. That one's 30 fourths which is seven and two fourths, which is seven and a half. Let's put a little barrier up there, like Berlin Wall, here we go. Drop that one there. That's 25 over six, which is four. 24 is one left over, so four and one six. And the last one is 15 24 That's nice and easy, that's done. Okay, so now I've got to combine all this stuff. Hey, look at us doing it again. 6 goes into 24, and that goes into 24. So if I change these all into 24 times 12, so times 12, and this one 
times four times four. Now I can add all those things together. All right, so 57 plus four is 61. There's my whole number stuff. Now let's do the fraction stuff. 12 of them, four more of them is 16 of them. 16 plus 15 is 31 20 fourths, which is one and seven 20 fourths. Oops. Put those two things together, and you get 62 and 7 24 That was hard. Okay, send me a picture. I want to see how you guys did. took your uh, camping trip. Okay? Bye-bye. <laughs>